귀엽게 So we just got back home. Y'all are in my office right now. I need to get organized. I need to get my life together. I feel like, y'all, oh, it's just, like we need to talk about that. We need to talk about what work mom life looks like because this, this is what I love. Um, so I already shared this on Instagram, but I am trying a new way of like getting organized, making sure I get stuff done. I just, I feel like my whole day was unfinished tasks all day long and there's vlogs I need to get done. There's just things that I need to get done that if I'm not organized, it's not going to happen. So I'm gonna kind of like do a run through with y'all too on Nash's new schedule or like what schedule he's currently on right now. So I'll show you that in a second, but I've been just doing like brain dumps in this spiral. So I need to go through that. I need to wrap some presents. I have them on the floor right here. I'll show you what I got. It's actually for our friends son and then writer's birthday writer's turning two which is just insane to me so i'm just trying to decide if i want to put nash in like a mother's day out program so that he can like socialize with other kids um or if i want to look into having someone like edit for me or just do like the office type tasks for me. I don't know. It's hard because, wow, this is so flattering. It's hard because I obviously want to be a full-time mommy, always. Like that's literally been my dream forever, but I also have a full-time capable workload between like YouTube and Instagram. But I'll always be like a mommy first, of course. But I, I want to be able to like work on content too. I don't know. It's just trying to like figure out what that's going to look for me. Look like for me. Yeah, anyways, let me show you these gifts I got. I got them from Amazon and they're amazing. And we can wrap them together. Oh, the monitor is in the kitchen and I hear him. Nash is napping, by the way. We had to go to the chiropractor this morning. That's where you saw us going. Um... Let me go get the monitor. I already opened it and looked at it. I shared it on Instagram, but it's basically, let me show you. It's basically six of these cute little peg puzzles and it comes with the rack and everything. And it was really affordable on uh, Amazon. So I will link that for you. Um, I have it saved them up to a highlight on my Instagram. But yeah, I thought it was just too cute not to get. This Sunday, we're having my friend Nikki and her husband and her daughter over to swim. She's 11 months old. Almost 11 months old. She's 10 months old, about to be 11 months old. Um, but I ordered her and Nash matching swimsuits since we're gonna be swimming, so. I got these for Nash. These just little camo swimmers. Those are from Amazon. And then I got this for Atlee. 
Bentley and we're gonna take a cute picture of them. So, these are the bottoms, camo. And then this is the top. <laughs> so cute, but also like, a little risque maybe for a little baby girl. This might be just get a cute pic and be done with it type of thing. And then this is, I think a bow for her. Yeah, it's like a bow for her head. Um, anyways, so I got that for the little swim day. And then Ryder's turning two. So I got Ryder, it's this cute little like travel road. It's like a mat, like a play mat, but it's like a, a travel size, like a fun size. And it comes with like little dump trucks and construction trucks and little road signs. Super cute. Bath, basket and toy. Because she said he likes bath toys right now. And then I got him these light show monster trucks he's really in monster trucks right now and then i had to get him this cute little fire truck that makes like the siren noises and lights up yeah he gonna love that oh and then the other thing i got for Bo was this toddler busy board so it has like buckle latch it has this little light switch velcro this is super cute like i'm definitely gonna buy this for nash when he's old enough to use something like that now she's awake all right let's go get him oh my god <sighs> y'all i am beyond tired today for some reason at like six o'clock this morning, which Nash usually sleeps till like seven o'clock. Um, for some reason at like 6.30 this morning, Nash was crying like he needed something. And I gave him like two or three minutes to try and go back to sleep because sometimes babies just cry in their sleep. And I used to make that mistake. I would like go in there because I thought he was awake and then I would end up waking him up because he was just crying in his sleep. So yeah, he, I like got up at like freaking six o'clock. I went in his room, popped the passy in and he immediately fell back asleep. He was like, Aah. put the passy in, he was like, Aah. and I was like, okay, cool bro. But now I'm wide awake and I'm currently in the process of trying to get him to drop his middle of the night feeding, which I feel like he's almost there. He's been like really showing me that he wants to drop that feeding, so any day now. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all his little schedule. This has been helping to keep me in check as far as like scheduling calls, making plans, making sure that I like get stuff done. It just, it's easy for me to glance at and kind of see what's going on. Okay. This is kind of like the block scheduling that kind of holds me accountable, staying focused, staying on task. Um, so I have 30 minute increments here, days of the week up top. This in green right here is when Nash is napping. So as you can see during the green blocks, he is napping and then this is bedtime. So he's asleep actually during all of this. So I need to make it green as well. So all the green down the side is when Nashi is asleep. All the blue is when Nashi is awake or when Nashi needs something. So we have wake up, Nexium, coffee, and at 7.30 he has a bottle and we play. And then he goes down for a nap at nine o'clock. This is when I get dressed, eat breakfast, um, answer emails, DMs, comments, post socials. Actually, you know what? Let me print this out. I'm gonna put it on my little composition here and then I'll show you so it's easier to see. snack time okay so this is literally the only thing that ever worked for me to stay organized in college um 
So I did like block scheduling. So it's basically everything that's happening in our day. I can just quickly glance at it, look at the block, look what's happening, what's going on. Then on the inside is literally just my brain dump stuff. So it's everything that needs to be done and I just mark it off as it goes. Um, this is a good spot for like sticky notes. This thing went with me everywhere in college. Please leave any and all tips for juggling mom life in the comments down below. Or if you're just as scatterbrained as I am, you're not alone, girl. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.